Hey there everyone, Collector Shuki here, back once again with, uh, this. So I said my first video back after this, uh, last, like, Q&A thing, vlog that we did, was gonna be the, uh, Ride Kimmy Trading Card Phase Zero box for Kamen Rider Gotchard. Very excited for this show. Uh, anyone that knows me knows that card games are one of my biggest weaknesses besides robots, which is why I love this. This is two units from Cardfight Vanguard that are robots, and it's my favorite deck to play in the game. But um, the robots are my weakness, card games are my weakness, and so, of course, uh, Kamen Rider had to, to go and be based around uh, trading cards this time around. And Alchemy, which is also really cool. So, uh, this is a booster box of Phase Zero. And so, Phase Zero is a little sneak preview uh, kind of box. Uh, shows off some of the early Ride Kemi cards, as well as a fairly decent handful of the Legend Rider cards that we are going to come to expect in the Phase 1, Phase 2, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I picked this up from Amazon Japan. I just got it in the mail earlier today uh, it, for about uh, 20 bucks or so for a box, which is really cheap. Shipping was about $21, $22, uh, give or take uh, on this. So not too bad. Um, now, obviously, there's no uh, physical like game to play uh, with this compared to like a box of Pokemon cards or Vanguard or Magic or whatever your game of choice may be. Uh, so it is definitely on the cheaper uh, side of things, but really cool. I love opening up booster boxes. I haven't in quite a while, so looking forward to that. A really cool picture of Gotchard down here on this side. So really cool. Uh, looking forward to this. Uh, so we are going to head and uh, go ahead and get this opened. Uh, I don't have a knife on me. So real quick while I get this open... Um, phase Zero is currently sold out on Amazon Japan. Uh, phase One is still in stock for about $30 or so, with about $23 shipping, uh, give or take, depending on where you're located. So keep that in mind. Uh, we got some little flaps here that are for advertising purposes. And of course, as you can see, there's perforation right here. So that these can rip off and this can fold over and you can make a nice little display. As you would see at like Toys R Us, 7-Eleven, um, other Japanese hobby shops that are all like mom and pop shops. But I digress. So here we are with our booster packs. So each of these packs, there's 30 packs in this box. And each of these packs contains three Ride Kemi cards. Uh, the phase one is going to have, I believe, 20 packs in a box, not, uh, not 30, 20, uh, but the booster packs are going to be five cards instead of three cards. So you're getting more cards in phase one, even though you're getting less packs. Uh, so like I said, uh, these ones are cheaper. They're only, I think, 100 yen, uh, per pack compared to, I think, the 200 or 150 yen for the, the phase one packs. So you're getting less cards for a cheaper price with more packs in a box so that more kids can get them and be hooked on the Ride Kimmy cards. Because, uh, of course, that's what Bandai wants and that's what they're going to get. Uh, so there's 25 different cards in this set. So obviously with 30 cards, with 3 cards in a pack, we're going to get 90 cards altogether. We are very much going to get a full set um, of these cards now, you won't get more than one full set from, to my understanding, you get one full set and then just a bunch of duplicates of the normal Ride Kemi cards, not the Legend Rider ones. So we'll see what we get uh, out of this box. Obviously, the uh, Phase 1 set is going to be quite a bit different uh, in terms of the card layout. There's, I think, 88 different cards in Phase 1, uh, so you actually probably won't get a full set out of uh, one Phase 1 box. But we'll worry about that when Phase 1 comes along. I do have two boxes pre-ordered for that, so we'll, we'll we'll take a look. But anyway, here is the booster pack. Really cool. Ride Kemi trading card. Phase 0. Um, that is just signaling there's 25 cards in the set. Three cards in a pack by Bandai Namco, as one would expect. Kamen Rider logo up there. Gotchard, Geats. 
uh, Hopper 1 card. Um, we got just some of the other Ride Kemi cards over there. And then on the back, just shows the layout. There's 15 uh, Legend Rider cards and then 10 different common cards. So there's only two different rarities uh, in this set compared to, I think, like the six to eight different rarities that are going to be in uh, Phase 1. So keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and get our first pack open. There is a little cutout right here that we can rip. Um, if anyone plays uh, Digimon or One Piece or Dragon Ball Super, um, these all work the exact same. Uh, I think Vanguard has the same sort of... Most Japanese card games have that sort of rip in them. So in our first pack, we have Gut Shovel. Um... Gengen uh, 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 Moth is a moth man. Um, and Common Rider Vice is our first Legend Rider card. Very, very cool. So before I move on, I'm going to get a list of these cards uh, set up real quick. All right, so this is Gengen Chocho, the, the moth one, which is now clear to me as I look at it and can read it knowing what it says. Uh, uh, so there is that. So I have some uh, perfect fits over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And these should fit Japanese perfect, uh, perfect fits. These are Dragon Shield perfect fits. And they do. So these are Japanese size sleeves. So if you have uh, any sleeves for Yu-Gi-Oh! Cardfight Vanguard... Um, I'm drawing a blank on some other Japanese sized card games, but those are the two that come to mind. Uh, these will fit perfectly for those. So I'm going to uh, put these in perfect fits. There is a chance that um, a perfect fitted card will still work in the driver. I don't know if any uh, Japanese reviewers have tried this yet that have the driver currently. Um, I know this was possible with the, I believe it was the D Flasher from uh, Ultraman Decker. I believe I saw a video on that that uh, showed that perfect fits were still usable. Uh, it's obviously a lot tighter of a fit, but it is a way to protect the card from the driver if it does indeed work. So we will see if when when that happens. But we're going to go ahead and perfect fit all of our Legend Rider cards, and we'll just keep the common ones set aside here and not particularly worry about those just yet but like i said there's only uh 25 cards in here so this is probably going to start going a little bit quicker as we get through all of these common cards here is gorilla sensei <laughs> very cool i love this card uh we have pilots which is a pirate uh not pilates or anything of the sort but uh, <laughs> we have that and then hopper one uh so it's just a, a full pack of commons which will happen in this set uh, for sure. So moving right along to our next set. Our next pack, rather. We have a Steam Liner to go with Hopper 1. And we'll talk about the, the layout of this set in a minute. Uh, here is the blank card. So these are the cards that he has to capture the, uh, the, the Kemis to make the Ride Kemi cards. So the all, every card will start off as this, and then as he captures them, it's like a like a Pokemon thing. And Saber, I adore the Legend Rider cards for this series so far uh, that they've showed. I just love the fact that you have a really beautiful illustration of the rider in the back, and then this like chibi kind of personified uh, mascot version of the rider or what they represent so you got a really cool dragon uh there and i i just i adore that i my favorite thing about training card games is the artwork and this is just very very cool so i love that so like i said we have 15 legend rider cards uh to try to find so hopefully Hopefully we do get them all. I Like I said, I believe you get a full set in a box, at least for Phase Zero. So we'll see. Uh, here is Venom Bake. Is it Bake or Dake? 
it's just Venom Drake. I there is no R there. It's just, it's Venom Dake. So there's that. It might supposed to be Drake. We'll see. But uh, gut shovel again and Gorilla Sensei again. So there you go. As you can see, we're already getting a good handful of duplicates. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to do a quick little sort and see how many of each card we ended up getting. Uh, just out of curiosity's sake. So here's another Pilots, a Hopper 1, and a Gengen Chocho. So like I said, um, so in terms of the extras, I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Um, I might see how many sets I can make and then probably try to sell the sets, so... We'll see. Um, but here's a Dokirimajin, like a magician uh, card trick sort of one. Um, we'll go over the cards later on as well and what they represent. Here's another Steamliner and Zero One with a cool looking grasshopper there, which is really cool. I dig that. So the Legend Rider ones seem to always be like this purpley kind of red uh color and then we have a variety of different colors for our other cards right now so like purple are always vehicles blue are what cl are classified as jobs but they're not really a job in a traditional sense but like magician pirate stuff like that um we have this orangey color which is uh insects like hopper one and gang and chocho being like a moth um, the red is our, our animal group, so Gorilla Sensei, a big gorilla, is our red ones. We got green, which is our plants, so we got a bunch of plant cards. And I think those are all the colors that we have thus far. But there's, there's a couple different color sets, and each card has a, I believe, a group of ten that are all the same theme so this one is gray and i don't know the theming for the gray cards um i can't remember if they're items or what but this is an energy drink uh enter enter kill enter gill that's a g Th this font isn't the best for <laughs> for readability but he's a little energy drink uh pretty cool we got another blank card i actually will love as many blank cards as we can get and common rider revi to go with our vice that we pulled earlier. Really cool trans-colored T-Rex going on over here. Uh, I love it. And my pack of perfect fits closed on me. I'm just gonna, gonna do that. But very cool. I I love these. The, the the fact that I get to sit here and open up a box of like common rider trading cards is just really, really cool. For me, I love opening packs. There's just a nice little dopamine rush that comes with ripping open a booster pack. Uh, <laughs> and to get to do with Comrade cards is really cool. So another Vendake, uh, another Gut Shovel, and another Gorilla Sensei. Moving right along, another Pilots, a Hopper 1. And Comrade Glare. So this is Glare 1, not Glare 2. Not that I, there's much of a difference. But uh, here is Comrade Glare. Um, one thing to point out that I didn't really touch upon yet. I could probably, if people are interested, I can do like a comprehensive, like what are Ride Kemi cards video. Uh, if people are interested in that. But so... They all have a certain icon associated with them. So, like, Glare is the DGP logo. And then down in the corner, and it's partnered with a another character with the DGP logo. So, that one was kind of a really crappy um, one. And Revi is also not a very good one because he's partnered with Vice. But uh, Zero One, for instance, has the Zero One logo right there. And then down here, it shows Deno's logo, because Zero One and Deno are a, like, best match, to use build terms. Uh, so you're going to want to find the Deno card, and then partner them, and they'll make a special sound in the driver. And the same thing applies to the cards over here. 
So these all have a job icon for pilots, and then you have down here the vehicle icon. So you're going to want to find a vehicle that has a power of 6, because you you want to make the number 10. So pilots is 4, you're going to want to find a vehicle at 6, those will match together and make a form. So that's kind of how the, the combining works. Now granted, you can make a form that does not total 10, but it's going to be just sort of a generic sound, because they don't go together. Um, kind of like build when it wasn't a best match. Things just sort of happened. <laughs> uh, Gengen Chokuro, uh, Tikiri Majin, and Kamen Rider Nago. Look at this cat. That's a wonderful cat. I love that cat. Gotta love that cat. It's really cool. I love Nago. Nago is a great suit in both the beat form and the fantasy form. I like both of them quite a bit. So a really nice Nago card, and as you can see down here, maybe there is a very particular icon here because all those characters are partnered with their sponsors. But we didn't pull those yet, so spoilers. <laughs> uh, we have Pilots, Venom Dake, and Kamen Rider Gazer. So Gazer is our other DGP rider. Uh, that's partnered with Glare. So Glare and Gazer uh, together will make a special sound in the Gotcha Driver whenever I am fortunate enough to get my hands on it. Probably when it actually comes out. That would make sense now, wouldn't it? It's taking so long. I'm going to have all these cards and nowhere to use them. How dare. <laughs> all right moving right along let's fix our focus there we go we got steamliner energil energil and a blank card like i said i'll take i will take all of the blank cards because the main character has tons of blank cards <laughs> steamliner Another blank card. There we go. And Kuhn. There we go. There is Nago's sponsor from coming out of Geats. So we have uh, Kuhn in the rider form back here, which is just a remodeled uh, Chimera from coming out of Wizard. And then a cool, like, stylized version of it right there. So really cool. I love the fact that most of the main Geats riders are kind of represented in this set. Um, I am hoping, I, I haven't looked at like a leaked sound list or anything like that. I'm hoping there's a couple more Geats Riders, because I don't know who he would be partnered with, but like, Nodge Sparrow has to have one, Punk Jack has to get a card, like, we need all of them, guys. Uh, Venom Dake, a Gut Shovel, and a Gorilla Sensei. Gorilla Sensei is making its way into these packs quite a bit. Hopper 1, Gorilla Sensei again, okay, and Jean, Geats' partner. We haven't pulled Geats yet, but you have a really cool, like, gray fox uh, on there with Jean in the background. Very cool suit. I like Jean's suit quite a bit, but very neat. So that's one side of the box down. Let's go ahead and wrap up with this other section of the box, and then we'll see where we're at. We got Steamliner, Energill, and another blank card. Next pack of Venom Dake, Gut Shovel, and there's Geats. Not too far after his sponsor, we have Geats. Are these different foxes? Yeah, they are different foxes. So there we go. There's our little duo. Very similar foxes, but definitely different foxes. And they are both number five because they go together. But very cool. I, I, I love the concept of these. Um, I'm hoping that there's some more mix and match possibilities later on in the future. But we will 
see, but I just, I love the idea of mixing the cards up and, and getting forms. I just, I had such a neat idea. Uh, Gorilla Sensei, Pilots, and Hopper One. I just really love trading cards. They're really fun. I love them. Uh, Gengen Chocho, a Doki, uh, Dokiri, Majin, and Steam Liner. And just like to make a point, like these are really thick cardstock. Um, now, granted, it is still cardboard. These will start fraying and whitening the more you use them in the driver. But uh, that being said, these are a very, very thick cardboard. So while they will get some wear and tear from being used in the driver, I don't think too many people have to worry about them getting destroyed. Uh, in the driver, now obviously if you want to keep your cards pristine, definitely sleeve them. Try to get a second set of some of these so that you can use them in the driver without worrying about them. Um, any sort of card protection uh, in that regard is helpful. But like I said, they're, they're thicker cardboard. I don't feel like they're going to fray too bad. But we'll see what happens. Hopper 1, a gut shovel, and buffa. So really cool. I love the fact that Buffa's uh, little animal form here has got like this big hair that kind of represents the hair that the suit has. They they did a wonderful job on these. Did do they do they uh, make note of the illustrator on here at all? I don't think they do, and that is a shame because I kind of wish I knew who did the illustrations for these. Because I think they're really cool. But there is Buffa. I'm sure you all know who Buffa's partner is. Um, and then I think we just need Tycoon and Kikera. And I think we have the full set. Uh, Energil. A blank card. And Venomdake. Alright. Almost done. A couple packs left. Kengen Chocho, Gorilla Sensei, and there's Kekira. Frog man, frog man. So Kekira is... Okay, yeah, that is a frog. It looked like a lizard at first, but definitely a frog. Really cool. I love the little mascot versions of of these characters. But Kekira's uh, model is a modified version of the frog used in uh, Kamen Rider Shinobi. Which I think might have been a frog from something else, too. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. But here is Gut Shovel, Gorilla Sensei, and Pilots. Uh, the Cutie Majin, Energil, and... Oh, Gotchard. I forgot Gotchard had a card. <laughs> in the set. So really cool. I love this. I love Gotchard's suit. I love this color scheme. The orange is a really nice uh like partner to the the bright blue that is used. He's got Steam Hopper. You have Hopper 1's art back here, Steam Liner's uh art back there. Just really really cool. And it looks like he's partnered with Geats. Is that what that looks like down there? My, my camera won't focus. All right, I'm not sure, but we got a really cool kind of preview for Gotchard. Now, Gotchard has a full bar, meaning it is base number 10. Uh, I believe is is how that works because the bar is full. So he might not actually be partnered with anybody. He might be on his own. Because he is the main character of the new show. So he's strongest. Anyway. Uh, Opera 1. Gengen Chocho and Dokiji Majin. So we need Tycoon and Baroba still. Here's Pilots. Opera 1 and Gengen Chocho. 
Oh no, guys. We have... We are down to four boosters. We are down to four boosters, and we still need two Legend Rider cards. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit, little bit worried. <laughs> little bit worried. Here's Pilots, uh, Venom Dake, and there's Baroba. I think we might be okay. We might be okay. The box was just saving itself till the very end. But there is Baroba. We got a nice pink bowl, like Robo Bowl there, with the uh, Mammoth from Zero One remodeled in the background there. Uh, Dokuni Majin, Steamliner, and Energill. Uh, Dokuni Majin, Energill, and there's Tycoon. We did it. There's our little Tanuki friend right there. No matter what you think about how Tycoon was written towards the end of the show. Um, I really like this card. I think that's really cool. So there's Tycoon. And so I believe that is all our Legend Rider cards. So this one is probably just a pack of normal blank Venom Dake and Guts Shovel. So we are done. We have opened 90 of these Ride Kemi cards. There is our normal cards. There is our Legend Rider cards. So I'm going to go ahead and organize these real quick. We'll take a look, see what we got, and, uh, and we'll go from there. We did get our full set of 25 cards. So each card down here, again, if my camera will focus, good enough. Uh, RT0 for uh, RT uh, and then set 0 or phase 0. 0, zero 1 for card 1 and then zero, zero, 002 for card 2, so on and so forth. Uh, down here at the bottom is a letter. C is for common and then down here L is for legend, for legend rider. Uh, now, obviously, there will be, I believe, Uncommons, Rares, uh, like Legend Rider Parallels. P is just for Normal Parallel. All sorts of rarities um, in the future for this uh, little Ride Kemi game. Not game, but you, you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, we have Hopper 1, uh, Gengen Chocho, uh, Dokiri Majin, Pilets, Steam Liner, Gut Shovel, Gorilla Sensei, uh, Energil, uh, Venom Dake, a blank card, Kamen Rider 01, Kamen Rider Saber, Kamen Rider Revi, Kamen Rider Vice, Kamen Rider Glare, Kamen Rider Tycoon, Kamen Rider Nago, Kamen Rider Beroba, uh, Kamen Rider Geats, Kamen Rider Jean, uh, Kamen Rider Buffa, Kamen Rider Kuhn, Kamen Rider Kikera, uh, Kamen Rider Gazer, and Kamen Rider Gachard. So there is our full set of 25 cards from this set, all sleeved up and ready to be protective and put in a binder right after this video. And then here is the back of all the cards. So all the Legend Rider cards have the generic Gotchard helmet design on the back. The blank one has obviously no helmet design. And then these ones are all going to be the helmets for their individual forms that they make together. So you can always tell which ones belong to each other uh, to make their special uh, sounds that are unique in the driver. But there is our full set. Now as for what else you get in a box, you get six to seven of every single card extra. So you're looking at seven to eight um, of every card, except for the Legend Rider cards. The Legend Rider cards, you get one of each in the Phase Zero boxes. I am pretty sure that that is always the case i've watched two openings on youtube and then mine and all of them got a full set of the legend Rider cards i'm pretty sure that's just a guarantee but for hopper we have one two three four five six seven hoppers we got six of the gingen chochos we have six of the majins we have Seven of the Pirates. We have six of the Steam Liner. We have seven of the Gut Shovel. We have 
seven of Gorilla Sensei. We have six of the energy drink, seven of the good old mushroom, and then six of the blank cards. So as you can kind of see from this, they sort of partnered up with each other. We have uh, six of one, seven of the other, 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 and six of one and seven of the other. Now I'm sure it's going to differ by box on which ones you get six extras and which ones you get seven extras outside of your main set. Um, but yeah, so at the very least, out of one phase zero box, you have a full set of 25 cards, and then you have an extra set of six for the individual 10, and then a couple loose cards um, extra after that. So I'm going to compile some sets. Uh, we'll take a look, see if anybody needs them or wants them. Now, the thing about the Phase Zero set is that these are a lot of Gotchard's base cards. So you are going to get these in the Deluxe Toys. So there, you in no way, shape, or form need this set outside of the Legend Rider cards and if you're just being a card completionist. Because obviously this Hopper one has the uh, RT0001 number on it. And it is a common, uh, and the one that's going to be a DX toy is probably going to say something different, probably RTT, maybe. I'm sure we know the number. I'm just drawing a blank off the top of my head, but um, for like uh, Rider, what is RTD? Rider, Ride Kemi Trading Card, I guess. Ride Kemi for R and then Trading Card for T, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, so all the numbers are going to be different. The finishes are going to be different. Some are going to be hollow. Some are not going to be hollow. Uh, there's going to be parallels for, with different artwork uh, and all that. Typical typical card stuff. So obviously, like this Hopper 1 is different than Set 1's Hopper 1, which is different than the dra normal like, driver's Hopper 1. Even if they all have the same art. They're all going to be different numbers. So unless you're a completionist in that regard, like I am going to be, uh, there's no real reason to pick this set up other than Legend Rider cards. That being said, um, if you did not want to pick up a box, especially because they're sold out in a lot of places right now, you might be better off uh, just waiting to pick up a set on Baiyi. You might be able to find a full set of 25 on there for a reasonable price. You might be able to find a set of just Legend Rider ones on there for a reasonable price. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure you can find it uh, in time. That looks actually really cool uh, on the side here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so can I recommend a box? Absolutely. It's fun. It's not that expensive. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, this was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks to, to arrive at my door, which is not bad for a uh, box of cards. Plus, it's fun opening. And now I have some sets to hand out to friends, um, sell to anybody that needs them, use as stock for custom cards, all sorts of things. So really cool. Um, if you are just casually collecting, obviously you don't necessarily need a box. It'll probably be fairly easy to find a set on the secondary market. But there's just something really great about opening up a booster pack of cards. And this very much scratch that itch. That I always have for trading cards. So uh, very cool. Looking forward to the full release. Like I said if you want a sort of breakdown. On the Ryder Kemi trading cards video. Let me know in the comments down below. I will work on that. If the demand is there. Uh, Josh from Toku Topics. Uh, my co-host on Geek Each Week. Uh, everybody should know who Josh is. Living Ranger Key on Twitter. Uh, is going to help me build a fairly uh, comprehensive Ryder Kemi list. So keep an eye on our Twitter accounts. Um, I'll probably put a link up on my blog and hopefully in the description of this and all future Ride Kemi videos um, for a, a full list of what cards are in each set and like where you can get each different version of Hopper 1 and how many different versions of Hopper 1 are there. We're going to try to make this the most comprehensive list you can possibly find on these things and uh we hope to make it good for you so we're, we're starting to work on that it might be a little bit still but bear with us and uh we'll hopefully have something cool to show you guys very soon but that about does it for our phase zero ride chemi training cards 
I love these. These are great. I'm looking forward to this show. I'm looking forward to this toy line. And I cannot wait to see how many cards we end up with by the time this toy line is over. So, really cool. Bandai, you got me. I thought I was done with Ryder, and you pulled me in with this one. So, good job, guys. Uh, that about does it for this unboxing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Which one of these cards is your favorite? Be it a Legend Rider one or one of the Ride Kimmy cards. So let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below. But as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.